Hey, it's Cassie. Today we're going to play in our graphics mixed media journal and we have some really fun products here. I've got um, some of this beautiful paint by uh, DecoArt called Love Color. It's a 3D jelly drop uh, kind of paint and it's super cool. So we're going to use that and I've got a couple of collage soup books here. So we're going to use some fun imagery from here and make a fun little journal page. So I'm going through here and I picked out a couple that I think I want to use. Um, one thing they suggest to get the full sheet out, in case you didn't know, is to heat the spine. Just for a second to loosen it up. And then you can kind of tear the page out really easily. See, so you don't have any rips and you get the full page. So just a tip for you there. So I really like these crazy little um, frogs. And I also kind of want a mouth to go on that frog. So let's see. We're just having a play. I really like this page as well. Oops. Um, okay. And then I've got one in... This black and white, neither here nor there. I think I ripped out already. Yes, this one. I'm going to work on that. So these are just fun if you want a starting point or, you know, you want something to to build on. Ooh, she's really cool, too. So many good imagery. So much good imagery here. So I'm going to start by cutting out one of these frogs. I think I like this one at the top middle. So I'm just going to cut them out. So this uh, mixed media journal is really awesome because it comes with, this is the six by six version. There's also a six by nine version, but it comes with a bunch of different uh, surfaces to work on. It has clear Duralar, matte Duralar, wet media Duralar, opaque uh, white and black Durabrite, and chipboard. And it does come with discs, so you can put it all together when you're done. So I really love working in these because um, you've just got a nice, you know, flat sheet to work on and then when you're ready you can put it all together and like I said you've got all these awesome different surfaces so um, I have these handy and ready to go all the time so that I can just make a journal page real quick so this is the white Durabrite I'm going to work on first and I think I'm going to put him on here look at how cool he looks with that crazy mouth I just think these um, collage images are so fun so <clears throat> um I really want to explore and play with this deco art love color 3D jelly drop as well because I think it'd be really fun to use on here. It's translucent. It um, is dimensional and holds its shape, but it also, um, you know, it just can do so much stuff. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to play. I'm going to make a fun background. Let's see. I think what I want to try first is... Um, just putting like a little blobby here and there. I'm going to do yellow and blue. We're just giving it a little play. I'm going to put a decent amount. And then I'm just going to take um, my scraper tool and let's just scrape it across first and see what we get. Oh, that's fun. Okay. All right. So what if I do like ooh, crazy? I've got a bunch left on here. I'm trying to get it off. You can also just like, ooh. Ooh, look at that. Oh, this is fun. So I highly encourage you to just play. Now notice how like subtle it is too, because it is just a translucent sort of jelly drop situation. But that's really fun. Look at the fun texture that I got there. Interesting. Really, really cool. So I think I like that. I think I'm going to let this dry and work on a second page and do some things a little bit different and see what we get. <clears throat> okay, so let me do Duralar. So for this one, I'm going to use, I think, a black and white image, and I'm going to put it behind, and then I'm going to do some, like, color blocking or something. I don't know. This is just my initial thought on the matter, so we'll just see what happens. So I'm just going to, it's kind of what I want to be in the frame. So let's just cut around this. Okay, so I'm going to use my, um, double tack mounting film <clears throat> and cut this exactly to size and stick it down so it's stuck to 
to the back of that page, but you won't see it. And we'll be able to create on top of this. It's going to be cool. Okay, so double tech uh, mounting film is just, it comes in sheets. It's really, really nice because you can cut it to the exact size that you need it to be. And I just peel back one side of the protective sheet and you've just got a big sticker right there. And then we're gonna put this right on top of it. And yes, I'm putting my image side down because we're going to stick it, you'll see. All right, I didn't get exactly, but it's okay because uh, we got enough here. Okay, so then we're just gonna peel up the corner. And now, look at that, that is a sticker that I can, that I can do whatever I want with and you can't even see that there's adhesive there. That's my favorite part. Okay, so now we're gonna stick this sheet on it. Okay, so now this Wet Media Duralar is stuck down on top of this. Look at how cool this is. I mean, it just looks like a shiny sheet now, but on the back, this is an awesome image as well, and we can color and play and work on top of this. So we still have both sides of the page to work on and this is nice and flat now I can work on top of it and I'm not going to mess up that um, that page you know from the from the actual booklet so now I want to do some color blocking and just play with this a little bit and see what we can do so it's nice because you can um, you can let it just be dimensional like you know like it will hold its form and its shape just like that if I if I want. Or I can come in with maybe a paintbrush or a you know um palette knife if I want to spread it out. So I'm just gonna play and see what we can do. I want blue over here. I'm just gonna do a big blob of it and move it around. It seems to work really well that way. But again, you can make this as you know, thick or thin as you want, and it really does change the intensity of that color. This is cool. I think I also want to try, I don't mind doing it with the paintbrush, but I kind of want to try it with, with a palette knife too. So here's what I want to do. I just want this whole square to be this blue color. So I'm going to take my silicone palette knife here, and I'm just going to gently pull over so it changes the intensity of the color you can see there that's super cool I really like this I'm, I'm enjoying this okay now let's um okay this is what I want to do I want to put green here and I don't know yet hold on Um, everything's painted, but I kind of want to add like some dimension here, like more dimension here and there. So um, let's see, what do I want to do? All right, so there's eyes here. So what if we like give him blue eyes? Okay, so just use this as a more dimensional tool and just let it be nice and thick. And we'll just wait a long time for this to dry, I think. But how cool and how fun it is to layer. I love that it's subtle too, in that, you know, this Wet Media Duralar is taking it like a champ and just, it's not gonna like buckle or, you know, get wrinkled or anything because of the type of material it is. It just is gonna work so well. So let me give him green eyes. Let's go back to our other page and see how this is coming along. Okay, so this is dry now. It is very glossy, and see how it held that shape? 
it does have a really interesting texture to it, especially this is now again on um, the white Durabrite. It's just so fun. It's really fun. It gives you just a really different, interesting kind of um, background and look to it. So I'm going to put this guy on here. Let's get him stuck down uh, double tack mounting film. So we're just going to stick him right onto here. Okay, I did the same thing with the mouth here on the double tack mounting film and cut it out. So now I just uh, have to peel the backing off and I've got a perfectly great, wonderful sticker here. So we're gonna put that on his mouth. How silly is this? I absolutely love it. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, these, these books are gonna be fun to play with, especially in my graphics journal here. All right, so now um, again for this frog, I have the double tack mounting film on here. So I'm just peeling off that backing and I'm going to stick it right down to my surface here. Now this is really glossy and shiny. A lot of, There's a lot of glues and stickers that wouldn't necessarily um, be able to stick this down, um, but double tack mounting film has no trouble with that. It's just super sticky and really really holds nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna stick him down. And now I think I just need to keep playing a little bit. Um, so let's see, I really kind of want to bring a little bit more green out here. So I'm just going to do a nice outline. Actually, I'm gonna do yellow around the head. But I'm gonna do something with it. Hold on here. I'm just sort of experimenting right now. So I'm doing yellow around his head and then I kind of want to pull it out and see what we get. Like a, almost like, um, oh, I think it needs to be thicker for this to work. Okay, because it's a light color. Let's see. I just want like an aura or like halo type thing around him. That's not so bad, It has she has a nice glow that works and then I'm going to do similar but with the blue on the bottom okay these have dried now and I just want to take a closer look now they're very shiny so I'm sorry for the glare but um if we can get in here the ball the remember I did the dots over here it um they did flatten but you can still see that blue underneath there. It's very interesting. And then here where I did the eyes, it's slightly raised from the other part. Really, really interesting um, product though. You could almost do like stained glass, but I love, I do really love the way that it um, worked on the wet media Duralar here. Um, so that is really interesting. And then on this white Durabrite, I mean, again, it's super glossy. It is just, it just gives you a really interesting effect. And, you know, pairing it with the white Durabrite versus the Wet Media Duralar, I mean, you get kind of different effects and it's, it's really, really fun. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of doodling to finish these um, journal pages up a little. I think I wanna outline these lips a little bit more. I just want to use some acrylic uh, paint pens on top of it and see how they those perform. Uh, I'm just gonna make like a, let's see, what do I wanna do here? I do like a starburst or a sunburst kind of thing. That is super fun. I'm loving this page. It's so silly and crazy. So yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna give that a minute to dry just to see um, <clears throat> how that uh, acrylic paint pen works. Um, I know it works over the Durabrite, um, but just wondering how it works over that jelly paint. And then uh, similarly, we'll do something over here. Okay, for uh, finishing these pages, I just have some a, a glue stick here, and I have a couple of quotes, one for each page. This frog one over here, I have a don't stay silent, speak, and that felt pretty appropriate with those huge lips there. <laughs> it's just funny and I love it. I just had such a blast making these pages and love using my graphics products and my um, mixed media journal here with, with 
different new products, you know, with this deco art paint, just really anything. It just works so well with so many different uh, products in the mixed media space. Uh, I'm never disappointed. So just um, sticking down these quotes here um, on the journal pages, the second one here on the black color or the black printing, uh, it says, it might turn out better than you think. And both of these quote pages are from uh, the Dina Wakely Ledger set. I don't know which set. Honestly, they're all just kind of jumbled together at this point. So sorry about that. But both of them are great. And, you know, you could add any quote from anything here that you like. Um, there's so many options as far as that goes. You could even probably just write a quote if you wanted to write something yourself. That's definitely always an option. So here we go. So I'm going to hold these up because I know they're glossy and probably have a glare. So here we go. This is the this is the um, block printing. This was on the wet media Duralar, and we used the double tack member to stick down this black and white uh, image from the collage suit book onto the back of the wet media dural art and then we paint it on top of it i know it's super glossy but look at how cool that is like look up close uh, the texture amazing texture and really sort of gives it like um a stained glass kind of effect and really a nice washed out color uh, super, super pretty. And then the, those acrylic paint pens did work on top of there. When they dry, they are uh, permanent there. So you can definitely use that on there. Look at how cool that looks. I love the way that finished. And then for our second page, um, again, you can see all of that really great texture. Uh, and this is on the wet media, the excuse me, on the white Durabrite from the mixed media journal from graphics. And then... Um, yeah, just like check out that texture there. So, so cool. And the glossiness is really fun. Totally different look though from, from this one. So really super fun. Great products used here. Uh, if you want to learn more about graphics products, you can visit graphicarts.com. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing so you don't miss future videos and have a great day. Bye.